hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET how to search the records from master page and display records on a content page in a grid view control and here we got the output of the project the master page and this is a content page and notice the URL is the index.aspx page. Now before enter the search results, let's check my database. Let's find out the records from the ban. Ban. Click search. And here we got the results of the ban. And notice the URL search.aspx the result is equals to Ben. Charon. Here we got the Charon records. Suppose if I type Charon profile, which is not available in my database, and I click search, see we got the message no records found. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new project. Go to File, New, Project. And I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework is 4.6.1. The project name is Master Page Search. Click OK. And I'm choosing the empty template. Click OK. And the project is successfully created. Go to Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding one master page and two content pages. Right click the project. Add. New item. I'm choosing web forms web form master page home.master is my master page name click add and here we got the source code of the master page i am deleting the content placeholder in the header section which i don't require go to solution explorer right click the project add new item i'm choosing web form with master page and the page name is index click add and i'm choosing the master page home click ok h1 this is the index page Now I am creating another web form page for the search results. Go to Solution Explorer, right click the project, add new item. I am choosing again web form with master page and the page name is search, add. I am choosing home.master master page. H1, this is the search page. After that, let's go back to the home.master page. What I'm doing here is I'm adding center tag, copy it, H1, how to search the records from master page display content page grid view control horizontal line I am adding one text box control and button control in the master page 
search toolbox text box control and one button control toolbox button control and I'm making this button value search and the button ID is but search and the text box ID is text search after that I'm closing the horizontal line up to now we have just finished the designing part in the master page now we'll write the coding part for the button click event go to design mode double click the search button and here we got our button click event now in this event I am adding string result is equals to I want to pass values from my text box control using query strings tilt forward slash I am adding my search dot aspx page ASPX page question mark result is equals to plus the text box control text search dot text response dot redirect and I want to redirect this result variable set the coding part in the master page now go to search.aspx page now in this page I am adding one grid view control go to toolbox I am minimizing the standard toolbox kit I am expanding the data and here is a grid view control I am adding now in this grid view control I am adding some properties show header when empty which is true empty data text is equals to no records found when the records are not found in the database I want to display no records found message in a grid view control that's it the designing part in this search page right click the source page view code to connect the database of SQL Server, we require the namespace. Using system data, using system data dot SQL client, using system dot configuration. After adding these three namespaces, now we need to connect our database. Go to Server Explorer, right click the data connections, add connection. The server name is user iPhone PC slash SQL Express and I am selecting the database name which is sample DB. Test connection, ok, ok. And here we got the sample db.dbo database connection, but we need the data source for this database connection string. Right click that one, click properties, and the connection string, here the data source, just copy the whole part, go to solution explorer, open the web.config file. After configuration, I am adding connection string add name my connection connection string. Here I am adding the data source provider name system dot data dot SQL client 
after adding the connection string in the web.config file, again switch back to the search.aspx page, we'll write the code. String main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings. The connection string name is my connection. Copy here and paste here dot connection string. SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection which takes a parameter of this main con variable. I'm opening the connection with the open method SQL command SQL com is equal to new SQL command after adding the SQL command now I'm writing the search query string SQL query is equal to before writing the select statement to search the records Let's visit my database. We'll check the table and the column names. I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the databases. The sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one as well as the tables I'm expanding. For this demo purpose, I'm using the table user reg. Let's browse the table. Right click the table name. Select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this table user range. Now my aim is when a user search the record with a username, I want to display a particular username records in a grid view control. Let's switch over to the coding part. Now here I'm adding select start from the table name is and the table name is let's copy this one this here where the column name is the username like single quotes percentage is a wild card character for search engine plus plus here I'm adding at this column name username semicolon SQL command dot command text is equals to SQL query SQL command dot connection is equals to the connection object is a SQL con SQL com dot parameters dot add with the value between double quotes I'm adding the column name username and the second parameter is the object value is coming from the master page so here I'm writing the query string request dot query string between double quotes I am adding the result. Data table DT DT is equals to new data table. SQL data adapter SDA is equals to new SQL data adapter, which takes a parameter of this SQL command object SDA dot fill method I'm filling the data adapter with the data table now I'm adding the data source to the grid view control grid view one dot data source and data source is coming from the DT DT and the last I am binding the grid view control grid view one dot data bind method that's it we have done the coding part in the search.aspx page
but one important point is in the source page we need to add the, the direct to master type master type virtual is equals to home dot master let's give some gap now it's time to check the results on the browser go to index.aspx page click google chrome and here we got the output of the project the master page and this is a content page and notice the url is the index.aspx page now before enter the search results let's check my database let's find out the records from the ben ben click search and here we got the results of the ben and notice the url search.aspx the result is equals to ben charan here we got the charan records suppose if i type charan 45 which is not available in my database and i click search see we got the message no records found that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos